the channel guys crypto lights here we're back again with another video and i'm going to jump on the hype and i'm going to talk about this project kp3r or keeper k w -E p 3 r which is created by the founder of yearn finance that would be andre Kronji, if i'm pronouncing that correctly and uh yeah some of you guys might know about this one already um as you know there's been a lot of hype about this okay there is um articles that you can read on it and there's quite a few videos on the keeper network at the moment that you can go and look at and get a more in-depth look about what it is i'm just going to dive into what i'm seeing in the chart in the short to midterm okay so let's just get down to it all right so we've seen a breakout um all the way from roughly about two dollars and this uh, or even under that about a dollar uh, I know some people might have got in on that all the way up to three hundred and ninety dollars approximately okay now in the group we were trading it from down here okay some people even got in as low as thirty five dollars in the group unfortunately I didn't get in that early because I was very busy yesterday but in less than 24 hours or just a little bit more um you know this has done over two thousand percent there are articles out there talking about this so a lot of people will be getting in on this getting in on the hype just solely based on the fact that it was produced by andre Kronji and he produced yearn finance okay now obviously he did have another project that was due to come out called eminence and um that you know that got hacked uh, a lot of people lost their money to a lot of death threats that were made to him and uh, he went into hiding for a little bit or well, that's the storyline anyway but nevertheless he is a great developer a lot of people uh, still trust his ideas all right and keep a network is definitely one that evidently um, has got a bit of fun and a bit of hype behind all right so at the moment we can see they did get a breakout from down here as well and um it's now starting to find some support up at this level. You can see we've got a little bit of a breakout at this triangle, which I posted in, into the group earlier. Okay, and that's so that's a smaller one. And then what I'll point out to you is this, which I've got it blacked out. Okay, we can see we've got a bit of a bigger triangle forming, which I'm hoping to get the breakout of that now. Okay, so I thought I'll bring this for you guys so you can see what I'm looking at. All right, let's just bring that back. Okay, so that's the triangle that, that, that we're looking at now. And we can potentially get a breakout out, out of here. Need to see a candle body close. Now we are on a lower time frame. We are on a 15 minute because it is a new project. All right, not much you can see. If you go on the hour chart, it might not paint a clearer picture. I know that a lot of people think you know it's no good doing TA on a low on a on a on a on a, on a um, you know on a new project but uh or, or a low liquidity project but um this one's got quite uh, good liquidity actually if you go and check it now this has crashed all right guys um no need to, to to talk any further about that you can see what we're talking about potentially get a break out of that pattern to the upside all right we're going to talk about buy out in a minute but just before we do i wanted to look at cypherium quickly okay for those of you don't know don't know what cypherium is it's just coming out of pre out of pre-sale or public sale phase and then um, this is one that i got in a few months ago um if it was that long it might have been just a month or two ago to be honest but um yeah cypherium is definitely one that's on its way and um i just want to bring a quick update for those that may have invested in it i'm not going to do an in-depth look at the project you guys can go and check out the website Ethereum.io, but there was recently just a telegram post from uh from Cypherium and uh yeah they are now going to launch the mainnet on the 31st of October. Okay, so those of you that did get in on the pre-sale, all right, there's ways that you can get your tokens, all right. You um now you should have set up a wallet already like this. Um if you didn't do that not sure what you've been doing but you you should have got an email uh, that led you uh, with the instructions on how you could set up a wallet all right um you can go and see on twitter as well you can see look at these partners amazon microsoft chainlink ibm google now it's google cloud all right and amazon cloud but you know nevertheless big names to draw you in all right guys and there's many more than that okay but uh, going back to uh, uh the article 
I'm well aware that some of you may not have used test flight before okay so you might be stuck a little bit so I'm gonna give you a little bit of help just in case you need it alright so normally uh, when a new project comes out they will be in a beta phase and until the mainnet comes out you won't be able to kind of uh, get into it without uh, an invite or an invite link okay so on here if you're using Android or Apple what you would do is you will click on the beta link launch okay in this case it will take you to test flight okay so what you do is once you've downloaded test flight on your phone okay now it's not now it's not available on the web app um, yet but they are going to uh, provide a solution for that as well okay so you download the test flight app on your phone okay uh, once you've downloaded the test flight app let's just go back you would then come back and then you would re-click on the link again okay so when you click on the link again after that it will lead you to be able to install the Cypherium wallet okay you would then have to import your wallet using your private key or mnemonic phrase from what you got when you uh, installed the original wallet and then you'll be able to see your tokens but not straight away you'll be able to see them on the 31st of October okay uh, and that's if you got in on the private cell okay so it says here that tokens for pre-sale participants will be distributed on October the 31st public cell participants will be distributed shortly after the vendor or token soft completes their audit of all payments received when the public sale closes on the 31st of October at 9 p.m. Pacific time we will communicate the public sale distribution date within the next few days all right so if you're not in their telegram go and join the telegram all right this is not a shield or anything like that i'm just trying to help anyone that might be invested in this as i'm invested in it all right and i know you know i did struggle with the whole test flight thing the very first time that i did it not on this but on a previous one that i've done before okay so um yeah i hope that explains it for you um sorry i didn't read all of this as well so i'll quickly just go through it so they're writing to you today with exciting news this is perhaps the most exciting moment in the history of our project the moment our team our developers and our supporters have been anticipating since cypherium's inception in 2016 our, f our full mainnet deployment is finally here our mainnet will be launching on october the 31st tokens purchased in pre-sale and public sale will be distributed according to the vesting schedule okay and there's a vesting schedule over here you can click on that and see how they're going to be distributed okay and so on all right now it does say go on to say for those that don't have a mobile device don't worry additional function functionality will be added to our web wallet shortly all right so you can go and read that all right guys but if you are downloading it now on the mobile wallet that's how you do it all right you click on the link it will take you through to test flight or you can just go in the apple store and look for test flight or android okay and then once you've downloaded that go back to the link click on the link and then you'll be able to install the cypherium wallet okay so that is Cypherium guys, check it out if you don't know what it is, it could be big, I'm hoping it will be big, you know, when it finally does hit the market, you know, I'm sure they were doing an, as a, a, an AMA with Binance, alright, let's just have a look, let's go back, okay, Cypherium blockchain honoured to present at, at Binance AMA hosting our CEO, SKY Guo Cypherium to discuss how cross-border financial services offered by public blockchains can better our societies, governments and economies. Get inspired and earn airdrop, airdrop awards October 26th and so on. Okay, so an AMA with Binance, you know, does that mean they're going to be listed on Binance? I hope so. <laughs> anyway, let's move on. Let's move on. For those of you that are waiting to know what my thoughts are on Bydown, now Bydown uh you know same as usual okay lately you know he tried to get a little spike up okay it's trying to come back but it's just not quite getting there all right every time it comes up it gets knocked back down by that resistance okay and it does look like by could be heading down a little bit further okay if we get a horizontal line and we put that here on the previous support level okay let's move it up a little bit take the wicks out okay so we can see that this level was holding as support just a little bit let's try it down there like that holding a support okay it's come down it's come under uh, come up it's come down it's come up and now it's falling back below that level again now if we bring it up to the line and test it at that level 
you could say that it's come down and now it's resisting underneath it tries to come out again and then it's getting brought back under okay so could there be more downside uh, for Bidal? it doesn't look safe to get in for me at the moment now one thing you do look and see is that it comes up and it comes down and it puts in a higher low then it comes up and puts in a higher high and then another higher low potentially now but this move hasn't finished yet but it could potentially start to climb upwards but at the moment I can't say that for sure the only thing I could say is it's still in a downtrend so it could go down further alright so your safest entry will be to see it come up and make another high okay and then begin to close above this level uh, in a higher low and then come up and make another high hopefully take out that level and then put in another higher low and then potentially that might head to the upside it would be nice to see some of this kind of volume okay but uh, yeah um, it's not looking um, amazing at the moment so yeah that's really all I can tell you about Bidal um, still no token burn a lot of people are anti were anticipating that and uh, yeah there's a lot of disappointment because uh, yeah false promises and all that I'm sure the token burn um, should have been somewhere around the 20th of October in fact they didn't say that it was going to be the 20th of October they just asked that everybody claim their tokens so that they can do the token burn after the 20th of October all right so I don't want to misquote them but uh yeah it's almost the 31st of October guys all right so yeah that's really what I can tell you about that uh hopefully we'll see some announcements we'll see some news okay there was an announcement on the official uh talking about buy that warriors and warrior of the month and all that sort of stuff but no token burn uh, not looking good but anyway that's about it for now subscribe like comment get over onto twitter and follow me over there at crypto lightsaber also you can become a patron links in the description very cheap all right and that will get you access to the telegram group if you would like to join a community of like-minded people in this crypto space so yeah that's about it for now i'll see you guys in the next video